our global community impacted by a se severe pandemic, the importance of healthcare technology field is at the forefront now. In recent years, healthcare has become an integral part of the business ecosystem in India. While healthcare itself is a noble profession and majorly contributes to humanity, the successful healthcare entrepreneurs are making a valuable contribution to the national economies around the world. At MediCircle, we present to you the top CEOs of the healthcare series, where we are featuring healthcare CEOs who are influential role models to share their views about the future of the healthcare industry. Hi, I'm Smita Kumar, and today our guest for the talk is Dr. George Noel Fernandez. He is the Chief Executive Officer at Viveka Hospitals. He has over 24 years of healthcare experience in Asia, including China. Japan, Europe, America, Africa, Middle East. He has worked with various uh, organizations such as tertiary care hospitals, multinational corporations, insurance and medical assistance companies to deliver best available healthcare practices with keen focus on businesses to grow with quality and equality. He is the thought leader in implementing and planning air medical evacuation and disaster management. Hello and welcome to MediCircle, Dr. George. Thank you, thank you, Smitha, and it's a privilege to be on the show. Thanks for joining. So to begin with, Dr. George, uh, the, there are three major challenges of the healthcare industry, like uh, affordability, availability, and accessibility. What, according to you, is the solution to eradicate these issues? Now, I think so these challenges are across the world when you're talking about healthcare, you're talking about food or any other uh, essential commodity. Uh, these are common challenges. Uh, and particularly in healthcare, we are looking at uh, how digitalization is going to be helping us to really bring down cost uh, and also being uh, available in terms of accessibility. Uh, like today, telemedicine has been a, a, with, through telemedicine, we are able to reach out to millions of people. Uh, so, digitalization is just one of the uh, many ways of really saying, okay, how can we bring down the cost? How can we reach to many people? Uh, but I think so there are more things than that that we really will need to look at. We need to look at how to explore government and private partnerships uh, so that the best practices can be taken uh, to the public. Um, there's also a, a, a huge emphasis that we have to look at is how quality of healthcare delivery of services are delivered at the minimum cost. And that's where I think so the government and private partnerships really help. The government will help to get us the commodities when I say that, like pharmaceuticals, or you're looking at, uh, at uh, say, uh, joint replacements, or, or you're looking at processes. Uh, these are available at a cheaper rate in the market so that we can use it for the patient. Uh, and bring down cost. So I think so. These two are the most important uh, ways where uh, we can really be able to help reach out to millions uh, of people. Surely. So you have uh, spent close to two point five decades in the healthcare. So how has your journey been? I've been very fortunate. Uh, I have been uh, through a journey from a total paper system to a total paper. System. So kind of I've lived that journey where we never had an HIS system or we, we used to just work on uh, on paper. And I think so this is, I've been very fortunate because the, the physicians who have joined later on than me, they are living in a digital world. Uh, so they started off, uh, they'll not know this journey. And uh, again, I've uh, been very fortunate not only to be a clinician, but more importantly, I have worked in different sectors such as the insurance and to the medical assistance uh, uh, sectors uh, also. So I understand, I've been able to understand different worlds. Uh, I've been working in the US, uh, working in, I worked in Europe, in Paris, in, in Thailand, in, in, in Singapore, Japan, uh, and Middle East for that matter, and also in Africa. So kind of, uh, this uh, is uh, gives me a very good uh, global perspective of healthcare, what can be done, what has to be done. Uh, uh, and uh, what people perceive in different parts of the world, what really healthcare is perceived as. So that journey has been fabulous for me. It has uh, been uh, uh, kind of uh, a lot of fun, uh, a lot of emotions. I, I mean, as I said, I've worked uh, in a number of disasters, right from the Bali bombing, the tsunami, uh, the H1N1, um, and meeting new people in troubled times. 
So it gave me a different perspective towards life totally, where uh, really uh, life is meant to just uh, enjoy it for the moment because you really do not know what's going to happen next and 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 uh, live it to the fullest so i mean i have changed my perspective after being in all these disasters uh, really to look at life as saying okay you don't need to take any trouble because you do not know you're going to live the next day so take life as it comes enjoy it uh, to the fullest and uh, let live that's that that's a noble thought so uh, dr george we have seen a lot of changes in the way the healthcare industry works before and post covid so what according to you will be the future of healthcare uh definitely i think so digitalization we talk about it a lot uh, in ai again these are kind of now the buzzwords in the uh, in healthcare uh, but as uh, i was uh, talking to you before we started this show i think so what is important is that when you're talking about digitalization and ai they should be more process oriented in in saying that now the doctor can focus more on the patient uh, and the human touch of uh, the uh, and the and the hospital community can be more involved around the patient in terms of customer service customer care taking it to a different level uh, because when you're talking of digitalization and ai it's more of precision technology saying that okay now no faults will be in the in, in the system now any system works on two things it's either the process or the people only two things can go wrong that's what i always feel that now if processes are taken taken care by digitalization and the people focus on people uh i think so the healthcare delivery model really will improve uh customer satisfaction will go up people will be more kind of for patients uh, will be more happy uh, when they go out of the hospital uh, loyalty will improve i mean that's again another thing that i work on is how to improve the loyalty among the customers and uh, taking customer satisfaction to a different level and people have to start thinking about it because again who built ai and digitalization people i mean who's going to take uh, uh, the new innovation it has to be the people who can have now some time to spend and think about what is the next best thing in healthcare that we can do sure. so i think so digitalization in ai is going to be there and uh, i hopefully uh, we'll have ceos and uh, everybody in healthcare thinking about what is the next best thing that can happen and that we can build to really improve uh, clinical outcomes and patient care and satisfaction so um one last question on the spending how is india spending on healthcare like india's total healthcare spending is at 3.6% of the gdp which is very less compared to other developed countries so even like even our neighborhood country bangladesh is spending more than us so do you think it's high time india needs a generous amount of spending in the healthcare sector Yes, I think so. We always would put the onus on the government, but I think so from retrospective, even I have looked at it myself. I run a private organization in many hospitals, uh, but we also do run a number of uh, kind of low-income programs. Uh, so here, I think so a lot of emphasis should be on what would be the right private and uh, government partnerships that we undergo. Uh, I do not think it's right to just keep blaming the government and saying the government should be spending more on GDP and healthcare, but I think it goes down to every individual, every organization, the private, public, uh, or NGO, uh, for that matter, is how we can combine our resources to really spend on health. I'll give you a very small example. Today, if uh, NGO says we are a very health-driven organization. or we would like to spend some of our, our crs activity on healthcare so why don't we get uh, we get united and say okay let's build um or let's build a model where you have the crs activities on healthcare the private organizations and the government organizations working together and in this way uh, see we are a billion people i mean we cannot be uh, putting and saying the government has to do everything it has to be i think so this partnerships this kind of ideology of saying yes how can we work together so that for that i think so it's very important for maybe the government to really lead the initiative because they can lead it through laws regulations uh, and uh, any kind of uh, kind of points that they would like to put forward and bring all to on the table and say okay how can we within these limited resources what can we do best and i think so that will really work well because at the end of the day we want healthcare to be uh, to reach the grassroots people uh, the person in the village if he has a heart attack at 3 in the morning can he get help now that's a big question that we all have to really think about 
uh, and um, or for that matter, is he getting his regular preventive health checkups done? Now, these all can be managed. Now, we, we mean, there's there are two aspects. One is obviously preventive and, and one is urgent care. And both these things have to be managed and balanced in such a way that uh, we are able to do it in, uh, in the best and uh, least possible amount of uh, money spent. So thank you so much, Dr. George, for sharing the significant information about the healthcare environment with our viewers today. As a dedicated healthcare media portal, I think through this initiative, we are able to inspire people through your valuable insights about the healthcare system. As you just rightly said, that healthcare consists of two important factors. One is people and the second is processes. And if IT technologies and other things are going to take care of the processes. I think people can definitely definitely take care of people. Like doctors would be having much more time for their patients. And the patients would finally feel that, yes, I am uh, getting uh, proper care because the patient always wants eye-to-eye -eye contact. Patient always wants a smile, a smile from all these healthcare professionals who are around them because he's always he's already in a discomfort condition. And it is just not that the medical medicines would help, it is that attitude that the HCPs can offer to him would definitely help in recovery. Excellent. So once again, thanks a lot for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. It was great. Uh, yes. yeah. Thank you.